GCSE science contains biology, chemistry, physics, and there's only a small amount of time. Don't worry, you can still achieve top grades for each science. Wanna know how? Keep watching. Hope everyone's doing well, my name is Kieran. In this video, I'll give you a step-by-step -step solution to smashing your exams for biology, chemistry, and physics in just a short amount of time. And at the end, I'll give you some general tips covering all of those sciences. All right, let's get straight to it. Starting off with biology, I encourage you to attempt the first set of past papers available. I want you to sit those papers, just, just the first set of papers. It doesn't have to be in exam conditions, just sit them and answer it to the best of your ability. If you're in a situation where you've done zero practice, you've done no past papers, and you barely know anything about biology. What I mean by this is for paper one, you don't know any of the topics. You don't even know what the topic's names are. A YouTube channel called Emma the Teachy has covered all of the content for Paper 1 and Paper 2. Science Shorts and Primrose Kitten has also done this. However, during GCSE, I use Emma the Teachy because I just found her videos very clear and I thought that she explained topics very well. But that's all about practice. If you're in the situation I just stated where you've barely done anything, I want you to watch the videos that she goes through. I want you to watch this video of her covering paper one and put it on 1.5 speed, just cause you wanna do it quickly as possible. After watching this video, I want you to attempt paper one and then do the same for the other paper. By watching these videos, I'm not expecting you to remember and know everything straight away. But in this way, you'll have some sort of understanding with how biology is structured in terms of its topics. What topic comes first and what topic comes at the end. So for instance, for AQA, like cell biology is one of the starting topics. You will at least know that. So you know exactly what topics biology contains. So when answering the questions, it won't be too, too unfamiliar to you. Biology has one of the strictest mark schemes, meaning to get top grades, you'll need to make sure your wording is on point. So after you complete and mark these past papers, look at the mark scheme and any of the questions that you got wrong, turn them into flashcards. There are multiple ways to create your flashcards and to lay them out however, but I'll show you the way I did it. I wrote the question or what the question's about and in brackets, I wrote the topic. And this is at the front of the flashcard. At the back of the flashcard, I copied out the bullet points from the mark scheme to deal with that question. This way, the flashcard will contain the context, the topic, and the answers that the mark scheme would want you to use. Make sure that you write them in bullet points as well, because a lot of people don't know this, but in your actual science exams, see the essay-based questions, you don't actually have to write an essay for them. You can literally just bullet point as much as you know to do with that question. So in this way, if you write down bullet points on the flashcard, you can literally just use those bullet points to answer future questions to do with that topic. And make sure the bullet points are condensed as well. You don't want to spend too long on these flashcards. It only takes a matter of minutes. Spending way over an hour on these flashcards, then you're wasting time. You're wasting time and you're probably including way more than you need to. Remember, it's only the questions you get wrong. All of these flashcards are made to help you memorize the mark scheme. I mentioned earlier that biology has one of the harshest mark schemes. You need to make sure you're using the right keywords. Knowing the keywords to use will get you marks. All of the notes that you want to remember are from the mark scheme. So by memorizing these flashcards, you're effectively memorizing the mark scheme. There are so many different techniques and ways to memorize flashcards. The general rule of thumb is you wanna understand what is on the flashcard. If you understand something, then it'll stick in your memory better. To understand the topic better, I suggest looking at free science lessons. Free science lesson is the GOAT. His videos are fresh off the specification. His videos are so short and so concise and contain everything you need to know and he explains it so well. So I suggest watching his videos on 1.25 speed or 1.5, whatever you like. There's plenty of other YouTube channels that I'll link in the description. If you're in a situation where you don't yet understand the flashcard, sleep on it. Chances are your brain is overloaded with information and the best way to deal with that is to just sleep on it. Give it a rest and sleep on it. What happens when you sleep is your brain processes all of the information that is gathered. If you're in a state where you're trying to cram so much in, you'll overload your brain with too much information. But whilst you're asleep, your brain processes all of the information that is taken in. So the next time you wake up, you're likely to understand it better or remember it better. In fact, that's the method I use to help me memorize lines for acting. Another way to help you memorize the flashcard is to blurt everything out on a separate piece of paper. So you've got the flashcard, you've got the topic, you've got the context. On another piece of paper, write down every single bullet point that you think is on that flashcard or everything you know about that flashcard, everything you know about the topic, everything. And from that, it'll be clear to see exactly what you need to focus on. The whole process of writing a paper 
and then make a flash course on it. You wanna do this for every single fast paper available. And just before the exam, I suggest making sure you're good on every single one of those flashcards. I also wanna give a heads up by the way, past papers available don't contain every single topic in the specification. Use the flashcards that you have and any extra topic that hasn't been in the past papers you've done, make sure you're good on those. There are sources out there that I'll link in the description that contain question by topic papers, topics that you haven't yet looked at. And then if you want, you can make a bit more flashcards on those topics. But that's just as a heads up. In general, it should be all right. I found that all of the sciences should have a different approach to studying effectively. For me in biology, it was making flashcards and memorizing the mark scheme, making sure I was good on as much content as possible and making sure that how I laid out the answer is in accordance with the mark scheme. Now for chemistry, it's a mix of practicing and memorizing. Of course, practice as many past papers as possible, but also practice question by topic papers. This is because chemistry contains calculation questions and also questions that want you to explain a certain topic. GCSE chemistry repeats questions every single year. So if you just practice as much as possible, then you should be fine for your exams. Also try and get familiar with the chemistry required practicals. Science Shorts has made a video covering all of the required practicals. To help me get familiar with the practicals, I made flashcards on each one of them, but it's up to you however you'd like to understand it. I just found it way easier to have everything I need laid out on one flashcard. But yeah, just practice as much as possible and get familiar with the required practicals. Physics is the most mathematical subject out of the three. And because of this, you wanna practice as much as possible. No notes or flashcards, just practice pure practice. I would talk about memorizing all of the formulas, but apparently you get given the formula sheet for your GCSE exams. Just some information I heard. And if that is the case, you don't need to memorize all of the formulas. Instead, just practice. And just by practicing questions, you'll know exactly what formulas are need for what question. So for example, I knew if they had an initial velocity and the final velocity, then there's an acceleration involved. So I knew to use the formula V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. I think <laughs> I'm an electrical engineer, I'll use this example actually. I knew if there was charge, current, or time involved, I'd most probably use Q equals IT. If I knew there was a resistance value, I'd use V equals IR, or even P equals I squared R. By practicing and practicing and practicing, you'll know when to use the formulas. At the start of this section, I mentioned no notes or flashcards. The reason I said no flashcards is because PMT has made their own for you. Go on Physics and Math Tutor and test yourself on these flashcards. For GCSE Physics, I tested myself on these flashcards just to make sure I was good on as much in physics as possible. Right, so just some general tips. In general, practice past papers and do these past papers in exam conditions. I'd say the only exception is for the first set of papers you sit because there are so many papers available for you to practice. But I'd say the first ones you sit, don't sit in exam conditions. Have notes with you if you need. Don't feel pressured with time. This is because most likely if you haven't done any past papers with science, you haven't got a general concept of what the mark scheme is or what the mark scheme wants. I know when I did a past paper for myself for the first time, I failed that past paper. That's because I knew the content, but I did not know the mark scheme. I didn't know anything from the mark scheme. So I say for the first set, it doesn't have to be in exam conditions. But afterwards, just make sure it's in exam conditions so you know how long you should spend on each question and it prepares you for the actual exam coming up. While other students are stressing and panicking during the exam, you are calm, relaxed, and focused. Just as another general tip, free science lesson is the GOAT, like mentioned earlier. Like I said for biology, if you have a flashcard and you don't understand it, to understand the topic better, go to YouTube and look at free science lesson videos. He's just amazing. All right, I think I covered everything. Your exams are coming up and I wish you all the best with them. If you have any questions in general or anything like that, please leave a comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram. If you found this video useful and helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. All of that is really appreciated by me. Just to remind you guys, there are so many sources available. So I'll link all of the ones I know and I found useful in the description of the video. I wish you guys nothing but blessings for these exams. You guys are gonna smash it. Stay safe, God bless, and peace.